Latest polls show that Paul could come in second here, and of all the candidates, Paul's proposals would be some of the most radical changes modern America has ever seen. We spoke with him today about how he would govern, and we started with how Paul would have handled the financial crisis. The most important thing that should have been done is no bailouts, absolutely no bailouts. The worst thing that could have happened is what we did. There are many people who believe that if the Federal Reserve hadn't acted and the government hadn't acted, instead of a terrible recession, we would have had the Great Depression too. It would have been for those big guys that made all the money. Yeah, they would have gotten depression, but the depression ended up with the people. How do you create jobs in this country? You just get the government out of the way and produce an environment where business people would invest again. This is why I proposed a $1 trillion cut. That's a $1 trillion cut in the federal budget. He proposes the trillion would come from eliminating federal departments such as energy and commerce, but half of it, $500 billion, would come from cuts in the Departments of Defense and State. Paul opposes military entanglements. When asked if it would be worth going to war to stop Iran from developing a nuclear bomb, he said, we should do what we can. When you say do what we can, does that include using military force to prevent a nuclear weapon no, in Iran? No, ab absolutely not. Uh, I mean, we were able to contain the Soviets and they had 30,000. What I worry about is people who shoot from the hip and don't think through things and started out of war. Just think of how we got into Iraq. And what is our role in Afghanistan? We don't have a legitimate reason to be in Afghanistan. Ten years is too long. You would immediately withdraw all U.S. forces sure. from Afghanistan? Sure. We've, we've wasted ten years and too many lives and too much money. But the whole thing just doesn't make any sense. This is what the American people are so tired of. Sure. You advocate the end of all foreign aid? Sure. Except the voluntary type. Most people vote for foreign aid because they think they're going to help poor people in another country. It really doesn't happen that way. It props up dictators is what it happens. Paul said that because of his foreign policy, some of his opponents have described him as a dangerous man. What well, that's how desperate they are. <laughs> what do you think when you hear yourself described as a dangerous man? I laugh man? at him. I laugh at him. That, you know, if you defend individual liberty, if you defend sound money, balanced budget, the Constitution, and a foreign policy is sensible, oh, he's a dangerous man. You know what is a danger? Is somebody liable to go over and start a war against Iran with, with no clear intent? That is indeed real danger. Paul's support is strong here, but our election and polling unit reminds us that in recent contested elections, Iowa Republicans have picked the eventual nominee less than half the time.